Hello everyone, welcome back to Edimon Tutorials. This is our third lecture on DLD Unit 1 Binary Systems. Myself Sohana Dumtoti and let's get started. As you have seen in the previous videos, the agenda that we are following is as follows. We have already covered digital systems, binary numbers, number based conversions in the previous videos. In this video, we will be covering octal and hexadecimal numbers. Well, one point to be noted here is, we are going to bifurcate this particular video into two parts like part A and part B for easy understanding. Now let's dive into the video. The types of conversions we will be covering here are octal to binary, hexadecimal to binary, octal to hexadecimal and vice versa. At first, octal to binary number conversion. Now, let's get into a little basics for this one. We know that the base for octal is 8 and the number of digits it will be using are only from 0 to 7. See, I have mentioned only zero digits from 0 to 7. Now, how many bits are required to actually represent them into its binary format? Well, the answer is 3. But why? See, octal uses base as uh, 8, right? 2 cube equals to 8. So, it uses only 3 bits. So the representation for these numbers are as follows 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1. I hope you guys are very well aware of these conversions right. Now let's get into examples. Our first example convert 64 from the octal into the binary. As I have already given the codes in the previous one like 6 stands for 1 1 0 and 4 it is 1 double 0. So, this will be the binary format for this particular number. Okay, next example 64.25. 6 again stands for 1, 1, 0. 4 stands for 1, 0, 0. Dot 2. It is 0, 1, 0. And 5, it is 1, 0, 1. So, this will be the binary format for the given octal number. Now, coming back to binary to octal conversion. Again, get back to this point octal uses only 3 bits. Now, whenever they gave a string of this kind of bit patterns, just start writing all of them like 1010.11. Now, we need to bifurcate in them in groups of 3 bits. Now, see, starting from this decimal towards moving to the left, 0, 1, 0. Just mark a line so that it will be easier for you to group the 3 bits. Now, here we are left with only 1 bit. You can just start appending 0, 0 because that doesn't change the value. And again, after the decimal, it is 1, 1. You can also append a 0 to it because it's not going to change your value. So now, just try converting this binary patterns into its digits. Like 0, 1, 0 stands for 2. And 0, 0, 1 stands for 1. And 1, 1, 0 stands for 6 with a dot. So, its octal representation is 12.6. I hope you got this one. Now, let's get into hexadecimal to binary conversion. Let's get into basics of hexadecimal. It uses 4 bits. Why? Because hexadecimal has a base of 16. It uses digits from 0 to 15. Now, the digits from 10 to 15 can be represented using A, B, C, D, E, N, F. Never use the digits directly 10 to 15 but use the notations A to F. Now, as its base is 16, 2 power 4 equals to 16. So, it uses only 4 bits for its representation. Now, 0 can be written as 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1 can be written as 0, 0, 0, 1. I hope you guys are really aware of this one. So, I am just keep on going on with the values. Now, let's get into examples. 64.25 given in the hexadecimal to be converted into the binary. Now, 6, we have this code as 0, 1, 1, 0. 4 is 0, 1, double 0, dot 2. Uh, it is 0, 0, 1, 0 and 5, it is 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this will be your binary representation for the given hexadecimal one. Now, again, try finding this one, 4. 4 stands for 0, 1, double 0. F. F we use 15. So, 15 can be represented as 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now, 2. We have 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, again, D. D stands for 13 values. So, we will be using 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this will be the binary conversion. Guys, please remember DLD is all about zeros and 1. So, you need to be very careful while converting into their binary forms. Even a single digit 
might completely change your answer and give it into the wrong one. So please be careful while solving this. Now I really want you to try finding the value for abf dot two f in the hexadecimal into its binary form. You'll be really going through it very easily. Okay. Now coming to binary to hexadecimal conversion. As we have already seen in binary to octal conversion, we will be grouping the bits in three form because. As I have said, two cube equals to eight. So according to its base, we will be using only three digits. Whereas for hexadecimal, we need to have four bits. Now start writing the complete one zero zero one zero one zero 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 one 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 one. Now start dividing them into group of four bits, like one 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 part, zero 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 one another part, zero one double zero the other part. Now according to the binary conversion, zero zero one zero stands for two. One zero 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 stands for eight. One 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 stands for f. So this will be two eight f in the hexadecimal notation. So see, always start grouping the bits only from right to the leftward position, not from left to right. Please make sure you remember that point. Now coming to hexa to octal or vice versa. This is somewhat easier and also a little trickier. So I'll just get back to the concepts a little bit. Now, whenever you want to convert from hexa to octal, you can't be doing it directly. There's a bridge that connects hexa to octal, which is the binary format. I'll just write down like hexa must first be converted into its binary form, and this binary form must be converted into the octal. The same vice versa. You'll be clear with an example now. See, a f dot two b h h also stands for hexadecimal don't get confused i'm not using year 16 just for your easier understanding so that when in exam it comes as h or 16 you guys should not be confused about that now let's get into the example like a is used representing 1010 and f is represented using 1111 dot 2 is represented using 0010 and b which is 11 is represented using 1011 Now your first part is done, which is converting hexa to binary. Now this binary must be converted into octal. I have already mentioned in the previous one how you are going to convert from binary to octal. Octal uses three bits, so you are going to divide all of them into groups of three. Now as I have said that from right to left before the decimal. So one one one, just mark a line so that it will be easier for you. One zero one again, mark a line. Now here we are left with only two bits, so you can start appending a zero. It doesn't change your value. uh in next again writing from starting from the decimal again go in this direction like from left to right only after the decimal don't start again writing from backward like this because it, it completely changes your answer i want you to guys to pay attention in this point so 001 mark a line 010 mark a line and 11 we are left with two bits so you can start appending a zero for this now 111 according to the octal conversions it stands for 7 And one zero one stands for five, and zero one zero stands for two. Zero zero one stands for one. Zero one zero stands for two, and one one zero stands for six. So the octal notation for this one will be two fifty seven point one two six in its octal. So we have successfully converted the hexadecimal one into the octal. Now let's see another example where we will be converting octal to hexadecimal. Let's now try converting the octal into the hexadecimal. Now, seven is represented using one one one, and two is represented using zero one zero dot. One is represented using zero zero and one. Now, at first, we have successfully completed converting the octal into its binary. Now, from binary, we need to switch back to hexadecimal. How are we going to do that? By dividing it into groups of four. Now, starting from the decimal point, one, two, three, four, four bits, one, one. Here we are left with only two bits, so we can start appending zero, zero, two bits. And again, after the decimal point, it's zero, zero, one. We are again missing one zero, like one uh, extra bit, so we'll be appending it to the zero. So now, zero, zero, one, one stands for three. One zero, one zero means ten, which is equal into a. We are not directly using ten here. Just remember, we are using the notation a. Dot. Zero zero one zero stands for two, so three a dot two will be your hexadecimal conversion. So whenever you want to try converting hexadecimal to octal or vice versa, first convert it into its binary, so it will be easier for you. Now let's consider other example. One one x y one y in the octal equivalents to one two c nine in its hexadecimal. Now again, they're asking us to find the values of x and y in case of octal because we are aware of the fact that octal uses only 
digits from 0 to 7 but here we are given x and y which is not an octal number so now we need to convert we need to find out what this x and y values are actually now the all the values of the hexadecimal are given like 1 2 c and 9 so it is clear that it is a hexadecimal number now first let's try converting 1 to c9 into its binary form 1 uses the value 0 0 0 1 2 uses the value 0 0 1 0 c uses the value 1 1 0 0 and uh, 9 uses the value 1 0 0 1 now we have completed converting it into its binary form now this one must be converted into its octal form how are we gonna do by again grouping them in bits of 3 so 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 here we are again left with one bit so you can just start appending zeros but this value how is going to be zero so just leave it so 0 0 1 will be 1 0 0 1 will be 1 0 1 1 will be 3 0 0 1 will be 1 0 0 1 will be 1 so the octal conversion is 1 1 3 1 1 right the ones they gave it as 1 1 x 1 y so by comparing these two values x is 3 and y is 1 therefore x is 3 y equals to 1 so that's it i hope you guys really enjoy this session in the next part b video we will be covering a little more examples and aod transform conversions which i have already mentioned in the previous video still then stay tuned to edumon 